there are a dozen reasons that we choose the devices that we put in our house. Maybe your priority is latest tech. Maybe it's protocol and ecosystem compatibility, reliability, ease of use, ease of install. That's a broad conversation. So let's scale that down to a device or even a brand that I think lives at the intersection of all of those priorities. Today, we're lock picking. I'm Patrick Hunt, and I want you to like smart home tech as much as I do. Real solutions with Matter, Apple Home, and a little creativity. Weekly, I'll show you how small upgrades can make a big difference. Welcome. Your guests may never interact with your front door lock, but at the very least, it might be the second device that catches their eye right after your doorbell. And at most, you're sharing digital and physical keys with them to allow for remote access while you're away. Because what makes a lock as a device both effective and reliable? Easy, to keep the door securely closed until you decide otherwise. Let's look back at those priorities. First, reliability. What does it look like when a light, for example, is unreliable? Maybe it's often unresponsive, says it's on when it's really off, or simply doesn't trigger with a scene, which usually comes back to connectivity issues. That would be a minor annoyance. But imagine what it would be like if your front door lock had those same issues. That lock would be a non-starter. And I think it goes without saying that smart door locks should be rated against non-smart door locks in the same way and be really hard to break down. Today, I'm gonna to test the durability of my new door lock and I'm gonna kick down my door. Yeah, I'm not gonna break down my door, sorry. So let's turn to ease of use and ease of install. This sort of thing is important in a lock for a wide variety of reasons. For you, you don't wanna be fumbling around hands full trying to unlock your door. And you actually know this lock a little bit. You're the one who installed it and set it up. But what about like a weekly dog walker who has to interact with this lock pretty routinely? Or Airbnb guests who have to learn it upon arrival, use it for a weekend and then never use it again. The last thing you want is a bad review because the guests couldn't figure out the lock and get into the house and start enjoying the weekend. And then retrofit locks are usually the easiest to install and maybe that's necessary for you because you're renting and you're not allowed to change the lock or you don't know how to change the lock or you really just don't feel like dealing with it. At a certain point, the next two priorities are really just nice to haves. And the first one is protocol and ecosystem compatibility. This would have to be a very, very special lock to not be matter compatible. And of course, Wi-Fi is an option, but I'd still prefer a thread lock if for nothing more than just battery conservation. And then latest tech, there is so much going on in these new smart door locks. Video doorbell lock hybrid, face ID unlocking, fingerprint scanning, something like a keypad or Apple home key are becoming more and more standard in locks these days. So when we chose a lock for our front door at this point several years ago, half that list was out the window, latest tech basically being at the bottom of the list. I didn't even share what our number one priority was, which by the way was aesthetics. Earlier when I said that the lock might be the second device that catches someone's eye, well, not ours. We wanted a lock that looked good and had some sort of smart functionality. This is the level bolt, or is it? It is. And for all I know, all of my neighbors have it too, and so do yours. And it's just short of the tech that I wanted in a smart door lock. It doesn't support Apple Home Key, which that's not for me. I created a shortcut on my watch that locks and unlocks the door with the action button. I will link that video in the description below. But for Lisa and our parents and someday our kids. But the level bolt checks off just about everything that we needed though. It's reliable. It just replaces the deadbolt inside the door. It's matter over thread. And it really is the look that we were going for, given it has no look. In fact, Level is the only brand that I'm seeing working harder to be more invisible. The only visible logo on this thing is at the end of the deadbolt. I think the Level Bolt has basically the most bare bones functionality an enthusiast would want in a smart door lock. And it's definitely not for the tech forward or even an Airbnb host. While you could add the keypad, there's definitely something about having a big, blocky, in-your-face door lock that lets guests know that this is very obviously the entry point. And for your average homeowner who has frequent different guests who would need access, well, they would need the app in order to get those shared digital keys. So who is the level bolt for? And then kind of by extension, the standard level lock as well, which 
has all the same functionality as the level bolt, but not only does it replace the deadbolt inside, but the hardware on the outside as well. It's for someone who puts aesthetics so high above all else, that flashy latest tech is a speck on the ground below. And I think it's also for the homeowner who doesn't want their whole neighborhood to know about their smart home and potentially make them a target for tampering. If that doesn't sound like you, there are a lot of other options with high-tech features. But I urge you to stick with Matter Over Thread if you want optimal compatibility and don't want to be changing your battery every three months. And if you care about everything that I just described with the level bolt, but you do want to get a lock that does start competing in the latest tech, then the Level Lock Pro does add a whole load of features and manages not to add any bulk. And it's this lock that I had in mind when I said a device that lives at the intersection of all these priorities. This lock does replace the hardware on the outside, but it does so in such a low profile way that to the average person, this is nothing more than just a standard door lock. And with that comes the ability to use Apple HomeKey, or their provided key fobs for entry. There's also a new feature that is a door status detection, which seems to come from some sort of integrated contact sensor with a magnetized strike plate. It supports touch to lock or unlock. And there's a PIR motion sensor on the front that actually wakes the lock up on motion. And this is to conserve battery life. If you're looking for a lock that supports ultra wideband, this one currently does not. But in no way does that mean that this lock is slow to operate. Actually, why don't we test the Level Bolt and the Level Lock Pro back to back? First, we have the Level Bolt at our front door. And then we have the Level Lock Pro. Level is tastefully adding necessary tech into their locks instead of going for those flashier buzzworthy terms like fingerprint ID or face ID detection. Level Lock Pro has replaced the Level Lock Plus, which a lot of these features evolved from. But I didn't put the Level Lock Pro on our front door. Why? We really liked the hardware that we chose for our front door and we weren't looking to change. That's only really possible with the Level Bolt. That's really the only reason, but some other less than stellar notes about the Level Lock Pro, that contact sensor is not exposed to Apple Home as a door contact sensor. And if it was, I probably would have put game changer in big bold letters in the thumbnail for this video. This could be the case in the future. And if it is, I'll be looking for an excuse to change every single lock in our house. And some other things I had to match a doorknob to the level lock hardware and I got pretty close, but it's not perfect. They do have options on their website for matching hardware, but I didn't really like the options that they had. Also, I'm an idiot and forgot what color hardware we had on that door in the first place. I'll put a link in the description for the doorknob that I got that, like I said, matches pretty closely. And then I'm used to quick set where I can DIY rekey the locks in my house to all use the same key. So now this is the only lock in my house that has its own unique key. So who is the Level Lock Pro for? Probably not somebody who currently is using the Level Lock Plus. I think it's for a family who someday wants to be able to leave their house with nothing but a phone in their pocket. And for somebody who holds aesthetics in very high regard. Overall though, it's not just the Level Bolt or the Level Lock Pro. You can see it in the purposeful decisions that Level is a brand that takes the priorities of the smart home user seriously and designs and builds with real intention. If you walk into the Apple store, you will see two smart lock brands, Level being one of them. And I think that says a lot for brand trust. So if you aren't choosing Level, what are you choosing and why? I'm eager to hear. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Level, but they did send me a lock to try. I just really like the Level brand. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.